Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today, we need to take a look at some Pokemon TCG serial promos. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon serial promos, not incidentally the first time that this has ever actually happened a couple of years ago there were general mill serial promos that were given out in a variety of different things which was a little bit weird uh they did not unfortunately actually come out outside of the us i don't believe which is a little bit sad but yeah Boo, etc. The image on screen, of course, from General Mills' Twitter themselves. So this was what they had last time and had a bunch of different cards. Well, it seems we're getting them again. And they are going to be 25th anniversary promos. There was a Facebook group, Pokemon TCG Online, where these were shared by, I think it was Ben Rawson. And what we've got here is packs which show free cards... And we are told that essentially what we are getting in each pack is one holo card and two non holo cards. You get one pack in each box of cereal, one would imagine. Now, there will obviously be those fancy boxes that have many. We all remember those when we were kids. And it seems to be that this is starting on February the 27th. Although I've not been able to confirm that date. I've seen it mentioned in a couple of places. We do not have confirmation of February the 27th. It seems about right, but we don't actually know for certain, so take that with a little bit of a pinch of salt. Now, I've said we're going to be getting holo cards. It seems, I mean, if I show you the Charmander from last time, you can see that they've got a different kind of holo than we usually tend to see. A very beautiful, lovely kind of holo that we should all be kind of excited about. We don't officially have confirmation that this is going to be the holo used on the five holo cards however the instagram handle poker stock market has shared an image of the pikachu using this holo pattern so although it's not confirmed it seems very very likely that they're going to be using this same fancy holo again and obviously these ones unlike the previous ones i believe are actually going to be stamped. They kind of have to be stamped, right? Because it's a 25th anniversary celebration. So clearly, they're going to be stamped with the Pokemon 25 logo. And the limited images that we have seen so far do show the cards are being stamped with the Pokemon 25 logo. You can see it on the Pikachu picture from Poker Stock Market. Do check them out on Instagram. They shared the image, so you know, thanks to them. So what do we actually see here? Well, in terms of the hollows, there's nothing particularly great in terms of playability, but there is a Pikachu. There is a Pikachu which was originally released as a promo. It was Sword and Shield promo 39. That is actually coming as a stamped hollow. It's got fancy hollow, which we're not used to. And it's stamped with Pokemon 25. And it is a Pikachu. Now, of the five holo cards which are being released, I mean, yeah. People are blatantly, blatantly going to want the Pikachu. Now, I have heard questions from people asking, is the Pikachu going to be rarer than any of the others? And the answer almost certainly is no, it won't be rarer. But it will seem rarer. Now, we see this all the time. We saw it with Charizard back in the Pokemon base set. Essentially, what happens is these cards are all put onto uncut sheets. They're printed as giant sheets of cards and then printed out, uh, well, cut out later. They're not, they're not actually printed as individual cards. They're printed as big sheets and cut out because that is a faster, cheaper way to go about doing so. And generally speaking, we get the same number of each card on each sheet. Though sometimes if there's an odd number of cards or whatever, you do get an extra of a couple of them. But that's generally not kind of a thing. You usually get an even number of each card. 
And we see this with football stickers as well. There was a brilliant interview I listened to from some dude from Panini talking about Wayne Rooney football stickers and how the exact same... That's a few years ago now, obviously. And how the exact same number of Wayne Rooney stickers are printed as all the other footballers, but Wayne Rooney seems rarer. And the reason is twofold. Number one... People who get the Pikachu aren't trading it as much. People don't want to get rid of the Pikachu. They love the Pikachu. They want to keep it. Reason number two, Pikachu is going to be wanted, so people are going to be asking for it. So you're going to have more people trying to find it and fewer people actually giving it away and trading it and all of that. So I would be absolutely stunned if the Pikachu was rarer. But I find it very, 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 very over the top likely that it will seem rarer. Now, although we haven't had this officially confirmed by Pokemon, do remember that when Pokemon 25 was officially announced, we had that awesome video and I got very, very excited and, well, everybody did. It was an awesome video. If you've not seen it, you really need to. But... In the official announcement, and we're going to talk more about this in the coming days, but they did say they were going to partner with a bunch of other companies, and one of the companies they specifically said they were going to partner with was General Mills. So we knew, you know, that that was confirmation. That was official confirmation that there is going to be a serial promo. We just didn't know too much about it. Now we absolutely do. So, looking at this image from General Mills last time, you're going to get them in Cocoa Puffs and Tricks and all of that. Basically, ones they don't sell over here. So, the usual appeal goes out. If anybody watching this enjoys this channel, wants to be nice, is feeling generous and lovely, if you would be able to pick me up some of these, I would be very, very happy. I will even pay for the cereal and only ask you to send me the cards, and you can have the cereal yourself. But I want to get a whole bunch of these packs. If anyone can hook me up, I would be absolutely delighted. Now, in terms of the cards, there is actually a playable card here, which is really kind of cool. We do have a Galarian Zigzagoon, which is going to be in the promotion. Galarian Zigzagoon, of course, having that awesome headbutt tantrum ability, that when you play it from your hand to your bench, you get to drop one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. It sees a huge amount of play in a huge range of decks, and, of course, we've now got Scoop Up Net that lets you pick up a non-GX, non-V Pokemon and put it in your hand. So it essentially lets you reuse this ability, and we see this all over. It's a staple in Eternatus decks, but it really does see a huge amount of play in a huge amount of decks. That extra damage is awesome. General rule is extra damage is always good, and this will see a huge amount of play, and it will continue to see play. The other one which is likely to be kind of relevant metagame-wise is Sinisty, the one that originally came out in Darkness Ablaze, because that evolves into Poltergeist, and Poltergeist is the main card in that Mad Party deck, which does see a whole bunch of play around at the moment. So, you know, kind of need the Sinisty. It's going to be exactly the same as usual, except it is going to have the 25 stamp on it. Oh, and it's also going to be marked as an alternate art card. So even though some of these cards are a little bit older, you know, a bunch of them are from Sword and Shield and all of that, this will not extend the legality period of the card. It is going to be legal for the exact same period of time. There are some that are just completely pointless. So the Galarian Meowth is a cool card, but it's not the Galarian Meowth that lets you search for Galarian Berserker. And that is the only Galarian Meowth we're ever going to play. So that Galarian Meowth, I can say with pretty much absolute certainty, nobody is going to want it outside of the collectability factor. But we've got Galarian Zigzagoon with a stamp that people are going to want. The Sinisty is kind of cool. And of course, there is that Hollow Pikachu as well. If you want the complete list... In terms of the hollow cards, we have got, obviously, Pikachu, and then we've got Gossifleur, Morpeko, Galarian, Ponyta, and Wooloo. 
And in terms of regular cards, we've got the aforementioned Galarian Zigzagoon and Sinisty. And then we got Snom, Yampa, Hatena, Dreepy, Galarian Farfetch'd, Galarian Meowth, and Qfont. Clearly, people are going to be after the Pikachu here. And I know the Pikachu is going to seem rarer. And at some point, I'm assuming that somebody is going to start spreading rumors that their friend who works in General Mills factories told them that the Pikachu is only printed one fifth as often as all of the others. You're going to hear that or things to that effect. I would be absolutely over the top stunned if it were actually true. But people who pull the Pikachu aren't going to want to get rid of it except to sell it for lots of money. And there's going to be lots of people after the Pikachu. So yeah, you should, in theory, if there's five hollows, you should have a one in five chance of pulling Pikachu when you buy one of these packs. So if you really want the Pikachu, my advice to you, unless we definitively hear something else, just buy cereal. Don't go paying 40, 50 quid for this Pikachu. Go and buy cereal. And open packs, and unless you get really unlucky, five to ten packs should get you a Pikachu and a boatload of cereal, which sounds pretty good to me. This is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a bit sad it's unlikely to be working over here. We don't really get General Mills cereals in the UK. So anyone that can hook me up with any of these packs, hit me up on Twitter at the Wassy. Email me at ptcgradio at hotmail.co.uk if anyone can help me out. I would be delighted. But my advice for the time being, that cereal in the cupboard, just let it run down. Try and buy as little cereal as you can over the next month. And then when February the 27th hits, go nuts buying cereal. And of course, go nuts in the comment section telling me all you want about this promotion. But be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio